In this video, I'm gonna show you Apple's all new emergency SOS via satellite feature. This is an all new feature for iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro that lets you contact emergency services even if you don't have a cellular connection. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. So here on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, you can see I'm running iOS 16.1.1, and this is also enabled on iOS 16.1 as well. This is sort of a unique feature because it doesn't require a software update in order to see it. All of the assets for emergency SOS via satellite are actually built into iOS 16.1 already. And all Apple had to do was turn it on on their server side. So now everybody running iOS 16.1 on an iPhone 14 is able to click on emergency SOS and you can see that it is turned on for your iPhone. So how this feature works is if you are in an emergency situation and you have to dial 911 on your iPhone, if you have zero cell connection, your iPhone is then gonna prompt you to text emergency SOS via satellite. This is always a last resort because even if you have a limited cell connection on your iPhone, that is always gonna be better than connecting to a satellite. And that's because the satellite connection is so slow and can take up to 20 whole seconds just to send one text message. So even if you have just one bar of service on your iPhone, your phone is still gonna to try to dial 911 instead of connecting to a satellite just because of how slow the satellite connection is. So once your iPhone has told you that you have no cell connection and that you have to use emergency SOS via satellite, it's gonna walk you through a few steps in order to connect to that satellite. And we can actually see what these steps are using this new demo in iOS. So if I click on try demo, it's gonna open up a new application. This app is called Connection Assistant. And it tells us a bit about the satellite connection. If I click on next, you can see it's then gonna ask us some questions about our emergency. So maybe it's a fire or maybe it's a car crash, for example. Click on next. It's then gonna tell us how the satellite is moving in the sky and that we have to use our iPhone in our hand to track the movement of the satellite in order to maintain a good connection. So here at the bottom, if I tap on test satellite connection, it's gonna give us a prompt telling us that cellular is gonna be turned off on our iPhone for this demo. So I'll click on turn off. And here, this is what the UI looks like. Now, because I'm inside in my studio, I'm not able to get a good connection to a satellite, but you can see I have some footage right now playing, and this is what it looks like when you have your iPhone pointed at the sky. You can see that you have to aim your iPhone at a certain point in order to get a good connection to a satellite. And this demo also shows what it's gonna be like to send a text message over the satellite connection, and you can also see just how long it takes to send one text message. So here in this example, you can see it's saying this is a sample conversation. And actually, just as I said that, you can see at the top, the connection to the satellite actually moved. And that's because my iPhone probably changed the connection and switched over to a different satellite. So let's go ahead and wait and see if this satellite eventually comes over our location. So here, after waiting about a minute, it doesn't look like the satellite is going to be coming around anytime soon. Of course, if this were an actual emergency, one, I would be outside with a clear view of the sky, and two, I would be holding my iPhone in my hand, trying to aim it at the satellite itself. And apart from using this technology to contact emergency services, you can also use the satellite connection on your iPhone to send your current location. So inside the Find My application, if you tap on the Me tab on the bottom right, you can see we have a new option called Location via Satellite. If I click on Learn More, you can see we're able to send our current location via satellite when we have no cell connection and no Wi-Fi. So this is a really nice peace of mind feature to have if you're going on a hike off the grid, for example, and you wanna send your current location to your friends and family. This is a really nice way to use the satellite connection without contacting emergency services. So I could actually see this being the main flagship feature of the satellite connection on iPhone 14. While being able to text emergency services via satellite can save lives and is definitely more important, I think this feature is gonna be used a lot more when people go off the grid and it's not an emergency, but they still wanna send their current location to their friends and family. 
Apple has actually said that this SOS via satellite feature is a paid feature and that this is going to be free for two years for anybody who bought the iPhone 14. I don't really understand this decision because this is a feature that could potentially save lives and Apple is putting a paywall in front of it. I don't actually think Apple is ever gonna make people pay for the ability to text SOS over satellite, but what I do think Apple is gonna make people pay for is the extra features like the one I just showed you where you can send your location via satellite and potentially any other features that they bring to the satellite connection on the iPhone. So in my opinion, I don't think Apple is gonna make you pay for the emergency services that could actually save your life, but some of these extra services over the satellite connection may require a payment in the future. As of right now, this feature is only available in the United States and Canada, but Apple has said that they are expanding this to even more countries starting next month. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Tell me if this is gonna give you even more peace of mind when you go off the grid with your iPhone. For me, I know it definitely is. It's always nice knowing that I can contact someone even if I don't have a cell connection on my iPhone. Hopefully you guys found this video informative and helpful. If you did, make sure to drop us a like. My name is Michael with IDB. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.